So JR, where are you at? Oh, you're right hey. there. All right. This was my way of um, kind of channeling all the emotions and the traumas that I've been through in my life. Um, ever since like my best friend passed away when I was 13, like writing, journaling, poetry, rapping, that's that's been my, my savior. So uh, that's why I do what I do. I got you. Yeah. And uh, today we want you to represent, do your thing, represent, show that you're still here. Right now. Yeah. 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 Hey. Or 
while right. Hey, JR, that first piece you just did there, what was the motivation for that? Uh, well, when I was, when I was younger, I don't want to be like really serious, but when I was younger, I wanted to be an Ninja Turtle. Uh, that was, uh, yeah. I also wanted to rap. And then also the first CD I ever bought was, uh, was Coolio's uh, single, Against His Paradise. So I was like, man, I'm gonna be an Ninja Turtle, I'm gonna be rapping, I'm gonna be like Coolio. Cause Coolio, man, he was like my idol. I know that's silly, right? Um, but yeah, that's what inspired that one. All right, I appreciate yeah. you sharing that. Come on now, clap it up for him. So this piece is called Affirmations, or while well, I write, I write, I write, I write because at 14, a friend heard me read love poetry about a heart in me. You see, at the time, his heart was at a loss to breathe, and his mind was the right thought to perceive. And still in my lines and offering them off to she. He told me, no suicide to my heart in need. She's alive because you're love home properly. So I write, I write, I write because once upon a time I was a lost body. Teenage veins ran trains of painful speech until my 12th grade English teacher taught me how to tame the beast. She gave me a pen and pad with a task after class and said, here's your chain and leash. Go release those highs and lows and in-betweens and then you'll see all your pain put at ease. So I write, I write, I write because I'm from East Oakland. The Bay A, bro. Where the murder rate stays at a constant pace, bruh, of someone killed nearly every other day, bruh. My birthplace is a hurtache, painted walls, crafted in madness, though all would gather in sadness to believe they did everything differently, when in fact, ain't nothing changed, bruh. So, I write, I write, I write because the moment of relief I receive from completely written peace. It's similar to taking a dump. Ooh, after it's been about a week. But not like a sense of relief in the beliefs that 9% of the globe goes to sleep with nothing to eat, no relief. When firefighters, doctors, teachers, police are investing in entertainers and athletes, no relief. When more blacks and browns in jails than excelling in college, no relief. When all I see is wealth is health while the ignorant and just fake knowledge. So I write, I write, I write because my right fist represents the cut wrist and hand slit of over a million and one slaves for stock hardships. Their privilege to write and read was stripped. So I write to read everything for everyone missed. Because without them, I wouldn't exist. So I write, I write, I write because I don't know how to write right. When what's left is right, then death strikes. And I'm left to write about the loss of life. Yet, if I didn't write, I'd have lost my life. To so who am I to choose sides and cross lines of do or die? Why do I recite lines like an Albert can move type? Do I write for self as a cry for help? Do I write tasty trash for massive shells? Do I write for relief from the beast deeply held? Do I write for, write for the kid who doesn't fit in with no one else? So I write, I write, I write. I've been hurt. I've been damaged. Raise your hand if you've ever been hurt. Raise your hand if you've ever been damaged. This last one's for you. 
You are what remains from damage. Through this pain, you managed to gain an understanding. Your name is no longer damaged. You are what remains from damage. Through this pain, you managed to gain an understanding. Your name is no longer damaged. Your life is for living. Yeah, just repeat that. Your life is for living. Meaning more than smiling, rising above idol or suicidal, and reaching your rival of self-actualization. You see, once in extension, you live for different reasons. You might change with the seasons, or you might stay the same with deeper feelings, like seeking your soulmate and found or leading future minds toward a better now. Your living doesn't mean hanging on a cliff upside down, or hating every upside or, or down that exists. So, so what is living your bliss? So someone, someone asked, what is living your bliss? What is living your bliss? Thank you. <laughs> Finding the right roles for yourself, traveling the right road by yourself, and knowing that with just a little help, you can achieve the chosen goal for yourself. No, hope won't be easy. And yes, heart pain will be felt. But above all else, your living will leave a lasting legacy and a crafty elegy. For all the singing and self revelry there are lived on an edge, advanced, descended, and impacted the earth's bed. Here I remain to regain above this damage and pain. People, people, repeat after me. I am. I am. Oh, louder, louder. I am. I am. What remains? What remains? From damage. From damage. Through this pain. Through this pain. I managed. I managed. To gain, to gain an understanding. understanding. My name is, My name is no, longer no longer damaged. Who am I? Who am I? I am free. I am free. Who am I? Who am I? I am free. I am free. Who am I? Who am I? I am free. I am free. Who am I? Who am I? I am me. I am me. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Right here to talk about he writes, he writes, and he writes. I'm out. Yeah, he's out. <laughs> and then he tells you, you are he, right? So we're gonna give much love to him. Tap it up one more time. <laughs> and this is How can they connect with you? Um, I'm, I'm available for gigs. I'm a writer. I need some some poetry. I need. I'm also do a screenplays, do short stories. I got a novel coming out next year. So yeah, come reaching out. Uh, I'm Jay Rice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much.